In today's video, we're going to learn about the Python console. This is a tool in PyCharm that's going to allow us to test some basic operations. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my PyCharm uh, IDE environment, and it should open up to the place where we left off for the last program we wrote. And again, the tips will come up, and as they do, we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. So the tips came up. I'm going to go ahead and close those, and you can see that it left off at our Hello World program that we did in the last video. I'm going to change the date on this so that it's recent. And again, as we said, this is the area on the right-hand side where we would type in our Python programs. There are times, however, when you just want to test a particular function um, or to look up help on something. And for that, we're going to use a tool called the Python console. It's going to be found under the Tools menu. I can choose Python console, and you'll see a window open up down in the bottom in the same way in the same place our script output ran and you can see there's these three this prompt is looks like three greater than symbols and that's a place where we can test python so for example i can type the print hello world command right into the console when i hit return the output is immediately shown i don't have to run the program and again, that works great for simple things. When we start writing more complicated programs, this won't work as well. Um, I can also use this as a basic calculator. So Python has many, many built-in mathematical functions. And I can do some simple addition. 34 plus 56, hit enter, and I get 90. It can do subtraction, 67 minus 40. Um, it also does multiplication. To do multiplication, you use the asterisk, so 3 times 5, and you get 15. Um, it'll do division as well. I can do, let's see, 18 divided by 6, and I get 3. Notice it's 3.0, and we'll talk about why that is um, in an upcoming video. The one other, well, there's two other operations that are important to know other than the basic four. And the first is if I want to do an exponent. If I just want to raise a number to a power, I actually use two stars. So if I want to do 5 to the second power, I would do 5 and then two asterisks, 2. And I get 25. Um, if I want to do 4 to the seventh power, I can do it that way. The other operation that's useful is the remainder operator. And that will give you the remainder when two numbers are, when one number is divided by another. So, for example, if I did 18 um, divided by 5, I would get 3 with a remainder of 3. And the way you do the remainder operator is I use the percent sign, so 18 and then percent sign 5, and I get 3. And that's the remainder when you do 18 divided by 5. This doesn't seem very useful, but it's very helpful when you're trying to um, figure out if, if numbers are even or odd. You can see if a number divided by 2 is, you know, if the remainder is 1 or 0, that can tell you if it's even or odd, which is useful in many programs. The one other helpful factor in the Python console is you can get help on certain functions. So if you want to learn more about what something does, you just type help and then the name of the function. So print is a function that we've already seen. So if I do help print, it will give me some information on how print is used, the different things I can put in the parentheses, and some basic information, which can be helpful if you're just trying to learn more about a particular function. So hopefully you can see that the Python console is a great way to quickly test out a function, uh, perform a simple calculation, or to get help on a Python function. When you're done using the console, you can go ahead and close it by clicking on the X on the left-hand side.